hello everyone good afternoon today i'm going to create a new tutorial on aws uh, it is about aws with lambda so um, we have uh, ec2 instances for some instances we use for development purposes and some for production so that the instances that we use for development purpose that uh, that runs on 24 hours but our development team maximum works eight to nine hours so rest of the day that is uh, it's the development instance is running without any purpose so that increases uh, aws billing and that uh, increases extra cost so to minimize the cost we can uh, create some uh, very uh, interesting things using lambda so using uh, lambda we can uh, actually shut down our instance when our working hour is finished and then we can instance uh, we can uh, turn on the instance when our working hour starts automatically without any manual intervention so for example if we uh, work from uh, 9 to 6 then we can set a uh, cloudwatch rule to uh, trigger a lambda function that will stop the instance at let's say 7 pm and start the instance at 8 am in the morning so in this process you can see we're just using eight to nine hours billing and the rest of the hours it stays turned off so this is a very good way to reduce cost and it, it will uh, reduce cost uh, almost 50 to 60 percent and in the weekend actually we can shut down uh, the whole weekend using our cloud watch events as well so uh, that's a benefit for uh, development purpose instances which requires so so let's start the process and i show you how we can do that so i am in my uh, aws console as you can see so uh, let's create a new instance i just uh, choose the amazon linux with the t2 micro that's fit here and then uh, i keep everything as default because my purpose is just to start the instance then uh, I'm going to keep everything as default and I'm going to launch I have the key pair already downloaded here so my instance is launching now let's uh, go to the EC2 dashboard to see my instance yeah here it is this is my instance so it is turning up so uh, that's good then I'm going to go to uh, lambda so uh, here are all my lambda functions are there so i am going to create two lambda functions one for stopping the instance and one for starting the instance so let's go to create some instances <laughs> okay i am the lambda function and i am going to create a lambda function here it's a basic from scratch I'm not going to create any uh, blueprint here so let's give it a name it's going to stop the instance stop EC2. it's Python 3.7 okay I need a role for the lambda to access the instance and turn it off so for that I'm going to go to IAM in the roles I'm going to create a new role the role is for the lambda so I choose lambda then I'm going to go to next permissions I choose EC2 I'm going to give full permission here but if you just uh, give less permissions that will also work then I'm going to go to next review I give it a name EC2 to start stop okay my role is created now I if I refresh here if I refresh I can see my role yeah here it is easy to start stop I have selected the role now I'm going to create the function
here is the function and uh, I have already uh, written down the function and tested previously so I have a uh, in my local copy here so uh, this is the function I am going to use boot to 3 and let's copy this function and paste it here <coughs> okay let me explain it imports boot to 3 library for python 3.7 region is us west 1 you can change this based on your region i am now us east 1 us east 1 sorry you have to change this us East one, okay. US East one, and then uh, lambda function. This is my handler. So it's very simple. It's uh, boot to three. We are initiating a client EC two with region US East one, and then we just call the function stop instances, which will stop the instance. Let's save this. Okay. I will pass the instance name via the event so in the event I will give the instance ID so let me copy the instance okay, so this is my instance and this is my instance ID so let's copy this and I create I have created already a JSON object which will be used as the event okay. I have created a JSON object which I will use for testing purpose. So let me configure the test event. I give it a name stop EC2 and then I give the instance ID. It's a JSON object, so JSON, uh, so you can use it for your instance and then. I have created the test event so it's selected now let's try to see if this function is working fine so if I run this function as a test purpose it will shut down my EC2 instance right it's running so let's see I'm going to test let's see the test outcome is fine let me go to the EC2 dashboard great so now here uh, the instance is uh, stopping that means my lambda function is working fine as you can see it's automatically stopped so that is the lambda function one then I need to create another lambda function and that is for starting the instance at the morning I give it a name I choose uh, runtime Python 3.7 and then I choose an existing rule that I have created previously let's create the function and uh, here is also it's very similar to the stop instance but it's uh, just it will call the start instance function of boot 3 library so I am importing boot 3 region US is 1 and uh, boot 3 client is 2 and then this will start the instances that's passed by the event ID. So uh, that's it by the lambda function. So let's save this lambda function again. I also need to create an event. The event is exactly similar, a JSON object. Here I am going to start EC2 and copy the JSON object from my previously saved notepad. then I create and now I'm going to 
test okay so let's see this is my stopped instance it should start automatically now yeah here it is so as you can see it is automatically started via the lamp trigger of the lambda function okay so my two lambda functions are created if I now manually run this it will start and it will stop but in the IT you if there is something called manual then there is a big no-no so we need to automate the process how we can do that using cloudwatch event so cloudwatch event is something similar like cron job which can trigger a lambda function on a specified time and on every day so let's <coughs> go to cloudwatch and i'm going to create two event rules the events are one for stopping the instance at 7 p.m. and one for starting the instance at 8 a.m. so this is my event rules I mean cloudwatch event rules I'm going to create a new rule let me uh, create the cron expression It's actually in the evening, so let's say uh, seven. Okay, let's copy this. This is my cron expression. Then I'm going to add a new target. It's a lambda function first stop is it to okay and then I'm going to uh, configure input with the JSON and here is my JSON okay so I have uh, created a cron uh, rule here with an expression and then it will uh, trigger this lambda function with this input parameter so let's configure this give it a name stop ec2 stop ec2 at 7 pm let me check is this not valid yet Four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, just let me Google it. <coughs> sorry I had a mistake on uh, cron expression but I have uh, solved this so uh, it should be 0 uh, let's say 19 star star asterisk question mark and then star so uh, this gives me an example of next gen triggers like Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday so all uh, are 19 GMT so uh, that's now correct so let's configure next awesome then I'm going to create a new one that is uh, start EC2 that should be in the morning so it starts with 0 then uh, 8 a.m. and then uh, star question star one more asterisk okay so each day morning 8 a.m. it will start then uh, this is correct I'm going to add a new function to the start EC2 I'm going to configure my uh, JSON text which is given here <coughs> and let's put this and this is start C2 starts EC2 at 8 a.m. and let's create the rule okay so I have uh, created my instances, I have created my uh, lambda functions and I have created my cloud watch event. What will it will do each day on uh, 7 p.m. in the evening it will shut down the EC2 and in the morning it will automatically turn on the EC2. So in this process I don't have to manually do anything at all. When my developer leaves from the office it is automatically shutting down the instance and when they are coming back at the morning 9 a.m. it's automatically started nobody and um, actually feels that the instance is shut down so in this process I can automate <coughs> my uh, instance uses and it will help me to reduce my AWS spinning so um, I hope this will help you to understand what the lambda function is and what is the power of lambda function and how easily we can use lambda to do those small kind of automated things using CloudWatch event so uh, that's it so far for this uh, today if you like my uh, tutorials and you want me to continue this more please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will try to create each week a new tutorial on AWS thank you for watching and have a nice day bye